So we're at Bike Park Wales, um, and we're just going to run through the spec of these e-bikes uh, real quick for you guys. So we'll start with the 2022 white E180 RS. This is an aluminium frame. Uh, this bike is an XL, and it comes with the Factory Fox Kashima Coat float shock for the real rear and the Fox 38 factories at the front. Um, this has got a Segai front and rear from factory. It does actually come with a set of race face bars, but I personally changed them because I didn't like the rise. Comes with the Code RSCs, 200 mil rotors front and rear. Uh, quite a good brake. Uh, can't fault them really, pretty good for fade. Um, but if you want to upgrade, that option is there. Uh, you've got the race fakes cranks and the DT Swiss uh, wheel set. Uh, we will just um, briefly go over the motors. This is the 625 watt hour battery with the generation four Bosch motor with 85 Newton meters of torque. Um, and the specialized again is a aluminium frame. Uh, this actually came with the SRAM code RE's, I believe. Um, but um, Rob's opted to change them out because they were just a little bit underwhelming. So he went with the um, the famous Hope V4s, which have been performing really well. Um, I believe this came with what tyres did this come with? Um, specialised butcher. Yeah, the the, the specialised um, butcher tyres. Uh, again, a little bit underwhelming, but switched them up for the eddy currents, which seem to be performing really well. You get the Fox 36 rhythms and you get a Fox Float X2 uh, rear shock uh, with an extra volume spacer in there from factory. This has got the Bros motor, the latest generation from Specialized, and I believe it's got 90 newton meters of torque, yeah. uh, which is actually quite noticeable uh, in comparison to the white. Uh, mullet setup, so 29 front, 27 and a half rear. Um, and I think this bike comes in at just over six and a half thousand pounds. And the white comes in at 7,250 um, pounds when I purchased it at uh, the start of 2022. Um, so that's the spec of the bikes. And um, yeah, we will uh, continue testing these bikes for you and um, tell you what we think. Right, ACDC back on the white. Ooh. So he noticed straight away the rolling speed is not there on this one but Whoa. there were some big kickers <laughs> right rim dinger on the white Very plush off drops this bike. Oh. Stop. 
It's a sick trail. the Levo. <laughs> totally different. So quick. First thing you notice is the power from this Specialized Bros motor coming out the corners. A lot more than the Bosch. Just more low end torque. Whoa! <laughs> Hard to get used to the speed it carries. Very fast bike. Serious rough stuff though. Vicious Valley on the 2022 Turbo Levo. So, surfing bird on the Levo. Not as nimble around the tight stuff. But fantastic rolling speed. This will be a test. Oh, bottomed out there. That's the lack of suspension you get on the Levo in comparison to the white, a 160 instead of a 180. Now we're on a flow trail on the Turbo Levo. Whoa. Whoa.
also insufficient on the turbo leap boat. skittish than the white yeah bottomed out there Yeah, that's too much for it here. So we both spent some time on both of the bikes now. You know, a whole morning. We've um, we've rode the white, we've rode the Specialized. Both of us, uh, us have switched over. Um, I mean, with the Specialized, again, that 20 on the front wheel, really, really good for holding speed. Um, it's great for plowing over big rough stuff and roots. Um, the suspension isn't quite as plush as on the whites, but that's to be expected. Um, there's obviously 20 mil less travel there, but the motor's really good. Um, obviously, the white actually belongs to me, and the Specialized belongs to Rob. Um, they're both 2022 models, but really, really good. Um, again, Rob hasn't rode a 27.5 for a while, but I'll uh, I'll let him tell you a little bit about what he thinks of mine. Major difference, I would say, if you was riding like a, a you know quite quite hard stuff all day. That one is a lot more forgiving on the body. Um, me getting used to that and then jumping on that, it felt like a, like a giant pillow, like yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. Um, that one might feel a little bit more responsive and fun, um, you know, and fast down the down the rooty stuff. But um, yeah, you definitely feel it in your arms a little bit more on that. Yeah, I'm kind of in, uh, in agreement with that. Uh, I mean, if we had to pick a bike, I don't think we've spent long enough um, on either of them yet to be able to pick one. Um, they're both slightly different, but we'll continue testing them through the day and uh, we're going to have to come up with a verdict uh, at the end of this video. See you all soon. So I think Bike Park Wales is pretty much shut now, uplift stopped running, but I mean, I've got over half a battery bro, what about you? Three quarters mate. Oh, I guess we'll just go up then, fuck the uplift. Yeah, I mean, and this is what e-bikes are all about. Everyone else stops riding and we carry on. So we're now basically at the top of the Beast of Burden climb, just gone past the starting point for um, Hop Du Ping, Hop Stepper, etc. I'm going to get up and uh, pick a trail from the very start. But um, yeah, both bikes have been really good on the way up. Um, it's taken us around 12, 13 minutes to get about here. so. Just as quick as the uplift, really. Here we are. And we're at the top.
instantly notice this bike easier to ride than all this really tight technical stuff. Why? A lot plusher with stuff like this. It is hard to keep up with the 29er. So we're now finishing up our day at Bike Park Wales um, on the e-bikes. First time we've brought them here, just trying to do a little review for you guys. Um, and you're all waiting for the verdict. Well, we've both rode each other's bikes. We've rode the 27.5, we've rode the mullet um, from Specialized and from White, their latest uh, sort of flag flagship bikes. And if we had to give a verdict, we can't give one. Um, they're two different bikes. Um, very good in their own right. You have the, the rolling speed with the Specialized um, and that chunkier, more powerful motor. And then you have the plushness and the ruggedness of the white. Uh, if it's super steep tech is all you want to ride and that's, that's your go-to, then maybe the white would be a better bike. If you wanted a better all-rounder that can handle tech and can handle um, long trips in the woods, then the specializers kind of probably be the bike for you. The key factor though is they both get you back up here when the uplift finishes, which yeah. is an absolute winner. Which is, as you can see now, it's probably gone five o'clock and I think the bike park's actually probably closed. I might even grab the lights out of the van in a minute, mate, and do a night ride. Well, I mean, we've got the battery for it. Yeah. Uh, we've used the uplift today and we've used um, the Beast of Burden Climb um, to test out both ways up. And the main answer to this video is are e-bikes what they're hyped up to be and are they any good at bike parks double yes 100 percent. they are worth the hype and they are good at bike parks um anyway that's uh that's us out so we hope you enjoy the video guys will you wave it to finish and uh yeah we'll 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 do a blue flow to finish off and uh hope you guys enjoyed hopefully see you again soon